still on their YouTube. It's your boy Jimbo. Giving an update on that RCA DRC 6296. So my table finally came in, and this is a, a RCA splitter, so it connects to one DVD player. And I've got an output here and an output here. One of them is for the N64 that is underneath this floor mat. And the other one is for the other monitor. So I'm going to power on the, the vehicle and we'll show you a little bit more. Okay, so upon powering it on, we have DVD set to both screens. Which is weird how you have to set up. So the first one you have... You have to have it set to DVD. You can see the little switch right there. And the second one, on the second monitor, you have to set to AV. It's not on DVD. If you, want, if you have this one selected to DVD, I'll show you now. It will play this, the second DVD that is in that player. So you can have, you two can each separately watch a different DVD. But if you wanted to have it just on one screen, have it on AV. So I'll put it back to AV. We'll do its loading thing. There we go. Press play, of course. So anyways. Again, I have a N64 hooked up to these uh, DVD screens. So we're going to connect. We're going to turn that. To AV, which it should show the AV signal right, right there. And let me power on the N64, and we'll show you that too. Okay, N64 is powered up. As you see, we got both screens running at the same time. So this thing comes with two remotes. Let me just turn turn those down a little bit. Okay, so we're right here. We have my mount. So each remote is color coded due to these colors. So the blue one is for this one. The green one is for that one right there. So a nice little decently set up. I know there's some wires hanging around, but at least for this way. Slide this thing down and you're able to play N64, anything that is RCA connected, like PlayStation 2 or whatnot, NSCS, NES, all those Nintendo stuff. But I'm a Nintendo guy when it comes to this stuff, just for, for, just for the fact that you, you can hang on to a cartridge, which takes up less space than an actual, like, disc. Unless you do the sleeves. Uh, if you have a PS2 or, like, a game case with a bunch of PS2 discs in it and within the sleeves, you can probably find a place to put it in your vehicle somewhere underneath the seat, somewhere in the trunk, you know, that would work too. But I like my Nintendos. Even though my name is PlayStation 3 Minnesota number one, but I mean, for cruising anyways, I, I like the Nintendo. Inside the house, I like, I prefer the PlayStations. But this is just showing that you can do this. You can have two screens open at the same time, playing the same thing or separate and don't need to disconnect anything because each monitor only has one set of inputs or outputs, I should say. So getting the splitter, you can keep everything connected at once without having to disconnect anything. So that is my little, it was like was less than $8 on eBay. And basically it comes in one Splits off into two females. So you need one side male, two side females. Again, one's for the other screen, the other one's for any sort of game console you may have. Um, and again, I'll show you my power input for these monitors and N64. 
Uh, just give me just one second. Okay, so down here I got my 410 power watt inverter. Uh, it's basically, I do have a splitter as shown in the first video. Sarah lighter into a splitter into two. One is for the DVD players. The second one is for... Uh... <laughs> This one is to power this thing, and that connects, that power plug is what powers the N64. So, DVD screens for both, and the power inverter for power for this thing that sends power through the outlets to the N64 to power that thing. And I do have another uh, power outlet in case I wanted to hook something else up to it, but uh, for now, I'm just going to kind of set this underneath the seat, kind of tucked away. And again, it turns on when I have the vehicle on. If I were to turn the keys off, it powers it off. And if I want power to the back, I can do that as well. Otherwise, it has a switch on the front that I can just kill the power whenever I want. But we'll still keep the DVD screens playing. So um, not too worried about it. But that's just my setup. You can have a N64 or a gaming console connected to those DVD screens. So hope you enjoyed. Take care. Have a great night.